This is part three now of the Uncharted Bell Tower. I'm going to continue with this. All right, so my 3D cursor is right there. That's okay. Let's bring in a cube. I'm going to go into wireframe and just get that in in the approximate size of this thing here. bring that up to the top here okay box select the bottom pull it to there I think yeah yeah okay let's see where it's located bring it out and bring it around there let's see what that's like Okay, let's see. So this, I just want to have a look at these. Looks like that. I'm going to scale that in the Z a little bit. So if I drop an edge loop in there, and if I scale it out, and then I control B to split it, maybe I'll scale shift Z, bring it out a little bit more, and then I'm going to take that and E and Alt S and pull it in. It might be a little bit sharp doing it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and select all of this and scale that in the Z, pull it down to do that. And let's try just uh, beveling these and see how nice that turns out say I use three and the top is going to have to fit underneath so I'm just going to as to scale it in like that okay and I think what I'll do now is I'll grab this and just make it a little bit longer actually I'm going to come up one more. Just exaggerate that a little bit. Okay, let's take this bottom here and start extruding it down. Let's work on this bottom part here. E and pull down S and down to the bottom here and back in a solid view and get rid of that face. So let's see how that looks. Okay, not too bad. Let's do a little bit of beveling. Let's grab that one first of all and put three. Let's take these two and put three in there. And uh, did I not do these ones, that one? I guess I need to do all of these. Do those together. Round it like that. Um, I think I want to make that indent a little bit more prominent by grabbing all of this and pulling it down changing it from the diagram a little bit. Okay, so if we do that, let's uh, focus just on that. And let's come in here and grab these edges. Should go all the way down, bevel that. Like that. And then down here, bevel that that and I could put a pattern in there if I want to I may decide to make this a little narrower just to fit my model a bit better okay so the 3d cursor is there let's set the origin to the 3d cursor and see what this is like mirrored
okay. Not bad. Okay, let's make uh, let's make those pretty easy to do. I'm going to bring in a plane. I'm going to rotate X ninety. Just scale it to fit. Take that edge and pull it up so it's a bit more of a rectangle. I'm going to extrude back a little bit and delete that face. Take the whole thing and bring it on here. Just make sure it's facing the right way. I'm going to select the top and the bottom edge and I'm going to give that a little bit of a bevel here. And there's three and hopefully that's enough. Uh, select both of those edges and do that. I'll shade smooth and let's take that, set the origin to the 3D cursor and we'll mirror that. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we will shift D rotate Z90 them on all of the sides and let's see if I um, I don't know if I'm gonna uncheck the mirror you know texture one and not the others uh, let's see what it's like with the weighted normal and normals auto smooth and that does clear it up a little bit so I'll add that on there as well okay so we have that on there we need to do this piece and this, and we need to do the bell, and that's pretty much it for the modeling. So uh, let's just, how do I want to do this? I'm going to bring in another plane, scale it until it pokes out, go into wireframe, bring it up, and I'll get the approximate size of that thing and something like that and extrude it up. So I have this and uh, maybe let's see make sure that this is separate from that other piece. There it is. I'm going to slash and uh, I think what I'll do here is I'm just going to add inset a little bit like that and control E bridge edge loops and I will get rid of those faces so I have just this let's have a look at that and see if it makes contact I might scale it just a little bit so it touches okay and I'm going to drop an edge loop there and we'll split that just with two and then E and Alt S and pull come in a little bit and I'll put a pattern in uh, Substance Painter on that. So let's bevel this now. Shift Alt and click these edges all around. Control B, I'll put three and then the uh, these edges here. And then I can get the, uh, the kind of curvature that I want on this, which is not too much, just a little bit like that. Okay, so those stick in. I'll do the pattern later. All right, I had to take care of a few things, but I'm back and we're gonna finish up the modeling. And I'm looking at this piece down here that we need to do. So let's do that. I'm gonna actually look from the side and I'm gonna bring in a circle and I'm gonna go for 16 vertices. Slide that out there. Rotate Y90, actually is what I mean and I'm going to box select and get rid of those vertices. Scale that down, flatten it out a little bit. I'm just going to G and drag that over. And let's see. Let's look in wireframe. Scale that down like that. And look from the side again and I'll do something, something like that. Okay, I'm going to take these two and I'm going to press E and SZ, pull them out a little bit, and then I'm going to press E, come up just a little bit, E and SZ, back, E and 
pull it back do something like that it still may be a bit big yeah we'll see let's have a look over here okay something like that I'm going to extrude it down this way in grab those pull them in like that take the whole thing and I'm going to pull it back here okay what I want to do next is I want to think about this on me grab those faces Put that one on that one scale Z and make that a little bit bigger all right we'll go with that two for edge selection shift alt and click these upper ones and these lower ones we can bevel that just a little bit control B and pull and I have two three and that ought to do it let's just make sure that it's not flipped there we go and I need to make sure that this isn't under the uh, the wall there so just something like this yeah okay something like that so with the 3d cursor there I will set the origin to the 3d cursor and we will mirror that like that shifty rotate z 90 all right we got those in place let's double check everybody okay I'll take those and these and make sure they're in this tower collection and that'll put them there all right as far as I know the last thing I need to do is the bell so let's do that by let's bring in a plane and just G I'm gonna drag it over here and I'm going to let's see pull it down to about there I just want to get it so that the blue Z line is right in the middle pretty much all right I'm going to merge at center and I want to take that out here I will trace the the outline E and we'll come up and we'll just do this and I think I'll leave sort of a poly for that I'll just paint that rather than extrude it in I'm not sure I'm going to trace the outline by pressing E and just pulling with my mouse to get a nice shape for this spell. E and pull or E and G. Come up to here, around it, and we'll come in a little ways. And I can take this one and I'll just leave that. All right, I'm going to use the screw modifier. Oh. Let's uh, set the origin to the 3D cursor, and let's also, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's, uh, okay, if that happens, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press E. I'm going to slide that into the middle there, and I'm going to bring my 3D cursor there, and I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor, and we're okay. All right, pull that out a little bit. Okay, you just need your 3D cursor right in the middle there. I can actually get rid of that point, and uh, I can pull this in. We'll deal with that in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to apply that. I'll come in here, recalculate outside. I want to give this bell some thickness. Can you solidify, or I'm just going to press E and Alt S, and let's say pull. Give it some thickness like that and bevel here control B with three and we'll come up here and um, I think I'll uh, I'll just bevel that okay and maybe I will put like something for it to hang off of. just in case I'm just going to duplicate that break it up for the moment to work on it and let's pull that down there and extrude it up like that okay so this 
I'm going to put control one on there for uh, some division. That's okay like that. And I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to take that and join it and shade smooth. And uh, the last thing is in here. So let's see. Let's actually grab this. We could use this. Shift Alt and click there. Shift D to duplicate. We'll pull it down. Break it out for the moment. I'm just going to scale it like that. Scale it in the Z. Let's go F to make a face. Maybe we'll scale it out a bit and Control B and roll your mouse up a couple times. And that's probably good enough. Maybe scale it down a bit. And that is going to be it. I'm going to join those together. And there's the bell. Let's bring that in. Scale it down. And just get it roughly in there. I think, I don't know, just feel like this is a bit big. So let's uh, scale shift Z. Let's make it narrower. Maybe even scale it in Z a bit. Something like that. Take that and make sure that's in the tower. Then it'll show up there as well. All right. At that point, I think I can hide that. And there is our tower and our bell all right so that is the modeling pretty much of the tower and I'm going to come back the next time and we'll do some UV unwrapping and we'll work on I think I may put a, a, a tile texture up here create that in either substance painter or substance designer and we'll work on the roof texture as well and and all of the textures, but that is the model right there. I have a quick look at the statistics. So it's not too high poly. All right, so if you uh, happen to model this, I hope it goes well for you. I hope I didn't go too quick or too slow for you. And uh, hopefully we'll get a nice result for this with the textures for the Uncharted Bell Tower. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.